My name is Chris Tos Katopoulos, Chris for short for the first name. I'm from Canada. I was actually born in Greece and um, uh, finished my high school there and then came to Canada and uh, finished all my university studies in Canada. Uh, when I first entered uh, this, this area, it was more of a pioneering kind of an era in this, uh, but it has developed. Society is much more concerned about environmental concerns uh, and issues, and fish, of course, are one of those um, indicators of how healthy our environment and rivers are, and there's a lot more need now than before. There's still, of course, um, limitations on how many people might work in this area, but uh, a lot more now than 30 years ago. I think a lot more work needs to be done, especially with um, freshwater species, native species. Um, you know, the focus um, 20, 30 years ago was primarily on sal salmon, Pacific and Atlantic salmon. There's a lot more on freshwater species now, and I think that's a positive thing. But we need to use the latest technology that we have. A lot of times we have great tools in engineering, great tools in biology, but we need to bring them together. And I think that's where that interdisciplinary work with the latest technology can help us move forward. I think in most countries, North America has a bit of an advantage, and that's why there is demand, actually, for experts from North America to go to those countries. But they're catching up. There's a lot of good work done in Europe, for example, France, United Kingdom, and even other countries that are developing now, Brazil, China, are looking into these issues. So I expect they would be developing a good uh, expertise in the sort. I think this conference is important because I understand the University of Massachusetts is the first time that are organizing this, and it's focused on fish passage. There have been many international conferences before on the subject, so it's a very uh, popular subject with scientists, engineers, biologists, what have you, and managers too. And it's a great idea to bring those people together and understand each other better, uh, appreciate the latest technology that is available, and the, the best knowledge that we have out there. I think there's a lot of work that can be done in here, and it's challenging work. It's different to uh, try to accommodate a live object like a fish than just following a building code to build a building. It's a much more challenging work, and actually, it's more demanding work. It demands that we use our best models, our best uh, instruments to measure, to measure the variables that we are interested in, and use the most sophisticated equipment we can to move forward.